Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at Daenerys Targaryen from the Game of Thrones Legacy Collection. Um, this figure is pretty cool, but before we take a closer look at it, let's go ahead and take a look um, at its packaging. Here it is. It's uh, pretty standard for the um, Game of Thrones line. Um, it's got the window here to display the figure. Um, it says Daenerys Targaryen down here. It's got her crest here on the side. Again, just says her name and has the crest. And then on the back, it's got a picture of Daenerys from the TV show, all of the other figures that were released in this wave, um, and not a whole lot else. Um, again, window on this side. So like I said, pretty standard packaging, so let's go ahead and um, dive into the figure review itself. So Daenerys here stands at about five and a quarter inches tall, um, which basically puts her right in scale with all of the other Game of Thrones figures. And if you're curious, she is um, the exact same height um, as the, the uh, previous release, Daenerys Targaryen, so um, they're right in scale with each other as well. As far as accessories go, um, she just has the one, and it's this um, whip thing here. Um, I don't remember what it's called in the show, um, but it's got some nice detailing on it. It's got the gold tips here at the end, and it's made of a super soft rubber, so you're definitely not going to break it. Um, she doesn't come with a dragon or anything, which would have been cool. And one thing I do want to mention before I forget um, is the first Daenerys had a spot on her shoulder where you could plug in the dragon's feet, and I'm assuming they used the same um, upper shoulder again, uh, but they did fill in those peg holes, which is nice. Um, as far as articulation on this figure goes, um, technically it's all very well done, um, but as I'm sure you all know, the Game of Thrones line was plagued by um, brittle articulation. So basically, if you plan on buying this figure, know that you're not going to pose it. Um, basically, it's going to stand in the position that it was in right out of the package. Um, you can move it, but there's a good chance that you're going to break the figure because for some reason they decided to use clear pegs instead of just you know normal plastic pegs. So they're very brittle. Um, never, nevertheless, though, we will run through the articulation. I'm just not going to move it because I don't want to break um, the figure. She's got a double ball peg in the head, one of the few pieces that feels not like it's going to shatter in your hands. And the hair is all done in really soft um, rubber, so it's not going to impede the articulation if you were going to use it. Uh, one thing I do want to mention is they use two different um, sculpts for the hair, but I think it's the same face. It looks like the same face to me. Um, but I, I like that they, they changed up the hair sculpt, uh, which that's just really cool to me that they, they put the time into that. She's got uh, hinged shoulders. Um, they, do, they would swivel 360 if they weren't so brittle. She's got hinged elbows with a swivel, hinged wrists with a swivel. And um, on this hand, this is kind of cool, they actually sculpted it'll focus here, there we go. They actually sculpted the ring on her fingers here. She's got a ball peg in the torso, um, which gives her an okay range of motion. That's another piece that you can actually use. Underneath her skirts thing here, she's got T-jointed hips, a thigh swivel, double-jointed knees, and then a hinged ankle uh, with an ankle rocker. It's the Marvel Legends style ankle rocker, so it's a nice one. Um, so, as far as do I recommend this figure, um, probably not for its full retail price, um, but I actually just bought this on Amazon for uh, less than $4 shipped to my house. Um, it's technically used, but if you look at the box, um, it's just got some, some dings and stuff, and you know, for a collector like me who takes it right out of the box anyway, uh, you know, I don't mind. So if you can snag it at that price, I think it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, you know, it's, it's cool for a shelf, and Daenerys is my favorite um, character from the, the TV show, so I, I uh, had to have this figure. Uh, but anyway, if you have any comments or questions, please leave it down in the comment section below, and I guess I'll see you later.